This week we hit the red carpet for an extra special screening of Guardians of the Galaxy. And then we chill out at Hollywood Studios for some frozen summer fun. Plus the latest theme park news, a new giveaway, and more. It's all happening right, right now. now. This week's show is brought to you by Theme Park Connection, where you can find the best in Disney, entertainment, and NASCAR memorabilia. Visit their showroom right here in Orlando or online at themeparkconnection.com. Mouse Fan Travel is our recommended travel agent for theme parks, cruises, and all other destinations. For a free quote with no obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. Undercover Tours is our preferred supplier of discount tickets to Disney World, Universal, and other attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to UndercoverTours.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. So Banks, have yes. you heard the news that at SeaWorld, Clyde and Seymour's Take Pirate Island is closing? I heard about this. We, we, we don't have this news in the queue because we are going to be covering this for a future episode mm -hmm. of the show. But yes, uh, August 10th is the final day for Clyde and Seymour, Take Pirate Island at SeaWorld. And I'm very sad to see it go. It's one of my it's favorite sad. shows there. It's one of my favorite, there's two of my favorite things about that show. One is how corny the show yes. is and <laughs> how much it makes fun of itself. Mm -hmm. Like if a joke doesn't land, they'll just stare at the audience and be like, and tell it again. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And then the um, the the, the pre-show itself is, is is great as well with those mimes making fun of the audience members coming in. So yeah. I really hope they keep both of those elements for whatever new show that they bring in, which they are coming back. Yep, it is just getting a revamp. So hopefully sometime in 2015, Clyde and Seymour will be back. It'll just be a different version of the show. I'm, I'm interested to see if it'll be the one that they have in San Diego, if they're gonna have a brand new version altogether. But August 10th, final day, if you're able to make it out, I encourage you to do so, say goodbye mm -hmm. uh, to the show, and uh, we'll see them again very soon. But there's a lot of the news going around town, so let's happen with the news in the queue. First up this week, Crayola has announced that it will be opening a new family attraction next summer at the Florida Mall. Yes, at Crayola Experience Orlando, families will enjoy 25 attractions such as Wrap It Up, where you can name and wrap an authentic Crayola crayon, and Be a Star, where you can star in your very own coloring page. So cool cute. That? The attraction will also have a retail component where guests will discover hundreds of unique Crayola products and souvenirs. Now, the admission price hasn't been set yet for the one here in Orlando, but the Crayola experience in Pennsylvania is $17.99 per person with children under two free. For more information, visit CrayolaExperience.com. As soon as I heard this uh, was coming this year, I'm like, Perfect. This, this is a perfect is thing to take exciting. Spencer to. Yes. Oh, she, she's going to love this and, and, and get her own special crayons, make her, her own coloring page. Like, this is going to be perfect for her. Yeah, it's great for kids, but I really want to do it too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. It, it makes me think of my childhood. You know, what kid doesn't love to color? Right. Do you remember your very first box of like 64? Oh, yeah, with the, with the uh, sharpener in the back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, um, and, and I, were you, okay, tell me, were you a crayon or a marker person? Crayon. I was a marker guy. Oh, I, I, okay. I, loved, I preferred markers because it was easier to color in the lines with the marker. Yeah, that's true. So, I was poor at that. <laughs> you and I will have to do so, like do a contest who's a, the better drawer with I'll Crayola. I'll probably lose. Markers. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, and speaking of new announcements, Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana has announced Thunderbird, a launching wing coaster coming in 2015. This will be the first launched wing coaster in the nation, mm. going from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds with four inversions. Other features include a huge 125 foot vertical loop, a 14 story Immelman loop, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Rob, let me know, and a zero G roll and some harrowing near miss elements. Park President Matt Ecker announced that Holiday World would open one week earlier than usual in 2015, the last week in April. Thunderbird is expected to debut at that time. To see the announcement video and a computer rendered full ride point of view, check out our website. I'm excited. I mean, there's there's a lot of theme parks around the country that are on my bucket list of places mm -hmm. to go because I, uh, as much as I love, you know, all the Orlando stuff, I'm also a theme park fanatic in general. So I would love to get to, to uh, Holiday World, love to get to Cedar, Cedar Point and all these yeah, other places. Totally. This sounds so much fun. Do you know what a wing coaster is? I'm picturing Manta. Is it like that? No. Um, 
Manta, you know, you're underneath the track, but you're kind of, it's a flying coaster. Oh, okay. A wing coaster, the seats themselves are on the outside of the track. So oh. you've got you've got the track like Shikra. Yeah, no, not like Shikra. You got all right. Say this is the track right here. Mm -hmm. the, the seats sit on the sides of the track okay, like so this. Okay, so totally on the sides. Totally on the sides of the track. That sounds crazy. And it's the first time they're going to do a launched one, and I'm I want to get out there and see this. Me too. That sounds awesome. It sounds like a lot of fun. So for something happening a little sooner and a little closer to home, Universal Studios has announced that The Purge Anarchy will be coming to Halloween Horror Nights. Now the movie, which imagines a world where one night a year all crime is legal, will be brought to life each night as a new scare zone on the streets of Universal's New York backlot. The scare zone will be inhabited by average citizens transformed into sadistic felons during this period of government-sanctioned lawlessness. Mm. Like civilians in the movie fighting to survive, guests will be at the mercy of cunning wit, luck, and speed as they attempt to outsmart and outlive the anarchy. The Purge Anarchy will be coming to both Universal Orlando and Universal Studios Hollywood. My goodness. <laughs> Have you seen these movies? I haven't because stuff like that, that's what that freaks really freaks me out. Like yeah, Those kind of like real world scenario type things. There's not a monster. People it's yeah. doing sadistic things with like masks. It's just. I think that's one of the elements I'm going to love about the scare zone is the fact that you'll be walking around and there'll be the characters will be dressed up like normal guests and then exactly. when the purge happens they're going to yep. and then start chasing people. And I heard they're even going to make the announcement. Yeah. And, woo, yeah. It's, it's going to be It gives me chills thinking about that's it. That's going to be a really good scare zone and it, it makes me happy that they're kind of cuz in the past couple of years they've they've gone to like the whole park is themed to one thing yeah. or they had the roving scare zone so it's really great to see they're going back to these set scare zones that are different themes like because we have yeah. face off but now mm -hmm. that's going to be in the hollywood section and this in new york so i'm glad to see that's coming back me too i agree last year um when every scare dead. zone was yeah. walking dead i kind of was like i got a little tired of it i yeah. wanted a different kind of a scare and mm. this will definitely be that looking forward to halloween this year now speaking of halloween guest sailing disney cruise line this fall will see the ships transform into a ghoulish wonderland during halloween on the high seas this celebration features halloween themed parties entertainment and elaborate decor including the pumpkin tree which magically transforms throughout the cruise other experiences include a creepy cabaret a nightmare before christmas interactive movie experience, costume dances, specialty foods, and more. Halloween on the High Seas takes place on most voyages aboard all Disney Cruise Line ships from September through October. For more information, visit DisneyCruise.com or contact a travel agent such as Mouse Fan Travel. Exactly. I've never been on a cruise. I've, I've talked about this many times. Thanks. I've never been on a cruise before, and I would love to do this. Yeah. Um, from what I've seen, this seems like a really fun little event and it's to meet Jack and Sally. It's not written. often you get to meet them anymore. That is true. I've been on the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the wonder and um, the dream, but no, not the dream. I've been on the wonder and the magic. Okay. I get them confused, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but actually I'm planning on going on the dream in September and hearing about this. Ooh. I've never experienced Halloween on a ship. I'm really excited. We'll need, we'll need full video and photos from you yes. as you go, okay? Yes. And we, we, want, we want to see how fun it is. Definitely. Rounding out our holiday season announcements this week, the Nutcracker is coming to ice at the Gaylord Palms this holiday season. This year, the Gaylord Palms Seasonal Spectacular Ice will be featuring scenes from the classic ballet, the Nutcracker, reimagined in nearly two million pounds of hand-carved ice sculptures. While experiencing ice, guests can also enjoy four ice slides, ice carving demonstrations, snow tubing, and the Christmas experience with character meet and greets, holiday dining, live entertainment, and more. Ice is open daily from November 15th through January 4th, including holidays. The Christmas experience begins on November 21st. For more information and to purchase tickets, visit Christmas at GaylordPalms.com. I love you. I've I mean, never been to ice. You've never been to ice. Yeah, I know. It's that's one of the crazy. like. That's one of the, like the local staples at Christmas time. Yeah. Everyone goes to ice. I know. I guess I'm Jewish, but <laughs> 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 but I still enjoy seeing you know Christmas demonstration. I should go. I should go. You really year. need to check it out. It's, it is uh, such a beautiful. Everything they do there is gorgeous, and yeah. the, the giant tree and all, all the uh, shows they do in the atrium, it, it really is worth checking out. Mm. So we'll have to take you there yeah, this year. Yeah, I wish I could have seen the DreamWorks ice, but Nutcracker is fun, too. Yes, Frosty was awesome last year, Frosty oh, the Snowman. Yeah. And that's one of those things, like, I loved the DreamWorks holiday specials, but those are kind of the more modern yeah. holiday specials. Like this they, is cla kids, more classic. These are classic, Nutcracker, Frosty. I love to see those kind of experiences yeah. for, for, for people that uh, kids and the adults can enjoy. Hmm. 
Hi everybody! This week, let's go to Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Outside the rear doors of the main lobby of Jumbo House, a green Mickey inside profile hides in the decorative vines to the right as you exit. He's about two-thirds of the way up the side of the vine-covered column, above the middle horizontal brace and at the top of an open space in the vines. He's looking into the lobby. Really neat hidden Mickey. Good luck with this one. Theme Park Connection offers a wide variety of pins, props, figurines, artwork, signs, decor, cast member exclusives, and other one-of-a-kind finds. Looking to sell your old collectibles? Theme Park Connection will buy them from you. Visit their showroom located minutes from Orlando International Airport or find them online at themeparkconnection.com. One of the most anticipated summer blockbusters this year is Guardians of the Galaxy. A little birdie told me you might have seen it. I might have, and it might have been awesome. Jealous. Mm -hmm. And uh, Andy and I might have recently entered a special red carpet screening of the movie right here in Orlando. Extra jealous. Mm -hmm. And we may have gotten to interview one of the stars of the film in said process. And might you have gotten footage of this? Might have. Might we see it? You might. Hey guys, I'm here right now at Downtown Disney for a red carpet premiere of Guardians of the Galaxy. I am so excited, and I hear I might get to interview one of the stars of the movie. It's not even my birthday. <laughs> That's Jaiman Hansu, he's one of the stars of Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm gonna get a chance to speak with him. Drop it! Uh, hey. Adan City Kalak, drop it now! Hey, cool man, no problem. No problem at all. How do you know about this? I don't even know what that is. I'm just a junker, man. I was just, just checking stuff hey, out. You don't look like a junker. You're wearing rabbit to God. It's a, just the outfit, man. Ninja Turtle, you better stop poking me. What is your name? My name is Peter Quill, okay? Dude, chill out. Move! Why? Ronan may have questions for you. Hey, you know what? There's another name you might know me by. Star-Lord. Who? Star-Lord, man. Legendary outlaw. Guys, move! Wondering, uh, the movie so far has gotten such great reviews and uh, everyone who's seen it is loving it. Can you talk about why uh, fans are connecting with it so well? Well, I think it's a, uh, it, you know, well anticipated, uh, you know, uh, 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 franchise and certainly nobody, I mean, we haven't seen it since uh, Star Wars, you know, anything of this magnitude and uh, certainly this, uh, this, uh, this is, it's, it's doing its, you know, it's doing it. It's doing nice. it really nicely. Hello. Yeah. Orlando. Thank you so much for coming. This is going to be an amazing ride for you. That's all I can say. I first, uh, for the first time, watched the film last night myself. And, uh, uh, this is the, the story of the ultimate uh, underdogs overcoming uh, 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 their own struggles, their own adversities, and becoming the most unlikely heroes. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be absolutely, I mean, put your seatbelt on. It's going to be a nice one. Enjoy. Thank you so much for coming. They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. They're the thieves, the bounty hunters, and the neglected. It's not a typical superhero movie. We all meet in prison and we end up bonding through a prison break. Move to the watchtower! That was a pretty good plan. Peter Quill is the only human in this crazy world. He doesn't have, like, superhuman strength or the ability to fly, but he uses his cunning and his charm to get himself out of situations. I come from a planet of outlaws. Billy the Kid, Bonnie and Clyde. John Stamos. Sounds like a place which I would like to visit. 
contracts as a lawyer, but he's so funny. Metaphors are gonna go over his head. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. I would catch it. Gamora has a heart of gold, even though she's lethal and very, very rough. Ah, cool. Should have learned. I don't learn. One of my issues. Groot is one of the strangest and interesting characters Marvel has ever put on film. I am Groot. Ain't no thing like me except me. Rocket is a raccoon with really anger issues. I live for the simple things, like how much this is gonna hurt. And they come together to save the galaxy. There's a lot of humor in this one, and a lot of heart. Wow. There's nothing like it, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, guys, that movie was so good. I, uh, okay, there's this part right after the... Yeah, I just told you all the good parts, but you should go see this movie. Don't, don't just take my word for it. Go see the movie, Guardians of the Galaxy. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. If there's one thing Disney loves to create experiences around right now, it's their hit movie, Frozen. Would you say that they need to, for the first time in forever, right here in summer, let it go? Absolutely not. I love Frozen, which is a good thing because it seems there's always more Frozen news to cover. Yes, recently Disney's Hollywood Studios started Frozen Summer Fun, a huge event we've talked about in the past on the show. Yeah, but reading and talking about it only gets you so far. Agreed. So we sent Haley out to see exactly what the event has to offer. Here's a special report she brought back just for you. We're here at Disney's Hollywood Studios where they're celebrating Frozen fun all summer long. Come with me and let's see what Frozen things do in summer. Back when they come out to Frozen Summer Fun. Well, you know, our friends at Arendelle, our good friend uh, Elsa Anna, they are traveling kingdoms all over. And of course, they wanted to come to Hollywood Land to share the love of all things Frozen. So they can see Anna and Elsa in a grand uh, processional, a welcome processional every day. Our buddy Christoph may make an appearance. He comes down from the mountain every once in a while to say hi. Uh, you can't go anywhere without our pal. Olaf right here. So Olaf will hop out and uh, say hello. There's a there's a nice welcome every day. We have a beautiful area called uh, Wandering Oaken's Trading Post and Frozen Funland. And if you if you've seen ice in Florida, it's really fun. You can ice skate inside. So you really get that feeling. You're in the middle of Arendelle. You're ice skating. We also have a Do You Want to Build a Snowman play area for the kids. You could they can do. But what's funny is they have like sand toys out there. So you kind of get a little bit of both because we know our we know our good buddy uh, uh, our good buddy Olaf loves the sand, loves the summer. Now the great thing about this, if you carry our our take along Olaf around, you can tag it on there and you might be part of the at the show at the end of the day. Now what's really cool, end of the day there's a dance party and then frozen fireworks, a big giant celebration of all things frozen with, you know, you might hear let it go once or twice. Now the big thing that I like is the this is the longest name I think in the history of names. For the first time in forever, a frozen sing along celebration. That was right, wasn't it? Celebration? Okay, good. It's great. I see people off camera telling me that's the because you have to remember that. It's a sing along. So basically, we have our Arendelle ambassadors come in and tell the story of the kingdom. It's kind of funny. Uh, and uh, you may see Anna Elsa, you may see Kristoff, you may see some of your favorite scenes from the movie. The great thing is, it's audience participation. It's over in Premier Theater. Everybody sings along and has a great time. 
starting our Frozen Summer Fun with Anna and Elsa's Royal Welcome beginning at 11. It's a processional that takes place down Hollywood Boulevard and ends with a small show at the hat. Here's a tip, get a spot 30 to 40 minutes ahead of time and if you want to have a better viewing of the show, get closer to the stage. Right down from Toy Story Midway Mania is Wandering Oaken's Frozen Funland, where you can play in the snow and ice skate. Do you want to build a snowman? I do. Let's go! Inside Wondering Oakens, they have a sweet treat bar where you can get cool cupcake desserts and they have a blue raspberry slush and a collectible Olaf cup. Sorry, Olaf. Yoo -hoo. Yoo -hoo, fix the Frozen merchandise has been a little bit scarce, but you can find everything you're looking for and more inside Wondering Oakens Trading Post, including magic bands with Elsa, Olaf, and I Got Anna. like little Elsa and Anna, but it's the coronation dress, which is really cool because there's really nothing that has that. It's very handsome. Not nice. Looks like they only have Anna, but they have these cool tutus and for old people like me, you can fit into the tutus in the extra large where you can't fit into the dresses and people won't judge you as much if you wear the tutu. Look, more treats. Which one should I get? Something you don't want to miss is the Frozen Sing-Along Celebration. It's a free show that takes place in the Premier Theater, but you do need a ticket. Our tip is to come out first thing in the morning and get a ticket at the Premier Theater for whichever show you'd like to see. Hello, citizens of the Kingdom of Hollywood Land. My name is Princess Anna of Arendelle. Know the 
more. Oh, I'm pretty sure they already know. I think they do too. The actual real life people in a totally strange world. Princess Anna meets a rugged and fearless ice harvester, Kristoff, whose cunning bravery helps get her up the North Mountain. Did you sleep through all of Arendelle 101? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hereby declare you all honorary citizens of Just imagine how much cooler I'll be in summer. Frozen Summer Fun happens every day until September 1st. Almost everything is included with your theme park admission, and every night ends with a frozen dance party and fireworks show that you don't want to miss. Best day ever. Warm hugs for everyone. You saw some fireworks? I love fireworks! Me too. I saw some once. They were set to music, and it told a story. What will they think of next? Can you imagine our story like that? The next time you come down to the attractions, especially if you've experienced Central Florida several times before, consider giving yourself a few days to explore the rest of Florida and see what it has to offer. There are strange and interesting sights to see from the historic city of St. Augustine and the beautiful beaches in the Panhandle all the way down to the Coral Castle in Homestead and great fishing in the Florida Keys. You're going to have to plan a bit better to maximize your trip around the state, but seeing the out-of-the-way sights is very much worth it. Don't pay full price for your theme park tickets. Undercover Tourist gets tickets straight to your door for less than gate price. All tickets are new, authentic, and backed by one of the best refund policies. Our Disney tickets are RFID and FastPass Plus enabled and can be linked directly to My Disney Experience. Add a car rental and save up to 50% on your vacation package. Find the best day to visit each park and other planning tools at UndercoverTourist.com. Visit UndercoverTourist.com to buy your tickets today. You know what time it is, Banks? Summertime. It's our vacation. What other time is it? It's giveaway time. Yes, it is. <laughs> Last week we had a mystery sound. Let's hear that sound again. You are not the first to pass this way. I know, we had a lot of guesses for this one. Do you know what it is? I kind of hope I know what it is. I do edit the show every week, so. That I'm is the true. One that picks the sound. <laughs> it's from Maelstrom at the Norway Pavilion at Epcot. Last week's winner is Stacy Wellevere from Zephyr Hills, Florida. Congrats, Stacy. And this week we have a wonderful pin set from Frozen brought to you by Theme Park Connection. Thank you, Theme Park Connection, mm -hmm. for providing this. We have an Anna pin, Elsa, Olaf, and Sven, as well as Kristoff. Yes, yeah, in honor of the Frozen Summer Fun segment we had earlier in the show. Now, this week I'm thinking. Let's do a tri trivia question from last week's show. Okay. Um, during the ice cream for breakfast segments, you were talking to Princess Lolly about some fun stuff, and uh, she commented on uh, your hair. Why does Princess Lolly think Elisa's hair is brown? 
Hmm. I don't know. Why does she? Know, <laughs> to, to enter this week's giveaway, send an email to info at attractionsmagazine.com and let us know what you think the answer is. You must include your full name and address, and if you're under 18, please get your parents' permission. Mm -hmm. Each person will only be entered once, and we need your email by the end of next Tuesday, August 5th. One winner will randomly be chosen from among all the correct answers. Good luck. So, Elisa, you want to give away something else right now? Like what? Well, I was thinking about uh, some shout outs. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Now, uh, I'd like to start off with a shout out for Mehi987 from YouTube, who recently came to Orlando for the first time in 14 years. Mm -hmm. Wow. We hope you really had a great time here. Mm -hmm. And I have a shout out for Jonathan Blake from the UK, who would like to wish his mom, Leslie, and dad, Ronnie, a happy 25th wedding anniversary this month. We hope you guys had a great celebration. Now, speaking of celebrations, we have a shout out from Ryan Steves for his son, Dryden, whose birthday was this month and his daughter Haley, who graduated high school. Congrats to you both. We'd like to give a shout out to Griffin, Renee, and Bradley Collins. They're all coming down to Disney on August 2nd, and you guys know the drill. Come on over, say hi to us mm -hmm. when you get here. And I'd personally like to give a shout out to everyone here on YouTube, on, on Facebook, on Twitter, all over the interwebs for the congratulations for the birth of Cindy and I's baby. We both just appreciate all the love and support out there. Mm -hmm. uh, Spencer is doing great. She's actually in the audience right now here for the first time. So uh, we're, it, it meant so much to us both. Thank you. Thank you again from the bottom of our hearts. So how about we give back a little and let them know what's going on in Orlando this weekend? That sounds good. Now, first up, LeakyCon 2014 is still going on at the Orange County Convention Center through this Sunday, August 3rd. And Saturday night, you can see Brian Stokes Mitchell narrate Harambe Nights at the Animal Kingdom. Or on Saturday, you can go see Cher Lloyd at Busch Gardens Summer Nights. These events are all ending soon, so see them while you can. Exactly. Now, with that, we want to thank Mouse Fan Travel. Let them plan your next trip, whether by land or sea. For a free quote without obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. And much thanks to Theme Park Connection, where you can find the best in Disney, entertainment, and NASCAR memorabilia. Visit the showroom right here in Orlando or online at themeparkconnection.com. We are also thankful to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each week on YouTube, iTunes, Bright House Channel 999 or on the O-Town app on Roku or Amazon Fire. You can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter right down here. Also, don't forget attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week. And of course, there's the magazine itself available through our website, in our app or on the Nook. Now, uh, last week at the end of the show, we had talked about that this week we would have uh, the bioluminescence kayaking. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, due to weather, that had to be postponed. Uh, so we'll have that on a future episode of the show. Don't know when we're rescheduling that right now yep. as we speak. Now, um, you've got something coming up. I do. Coming soon. What, yeah. what are you doing? Actually, next week I'm going, speaking of, we were talking about cruises earlier. Yeah, I'm yeah. going on a cruise um, next week on the 4th. So nice. I won't be here next week for the taping, but Jessie will be filling in for me. Awesome. So make sure you're nice to her. I will. I will. <laughs> I will. I won't do any sort of initiations or anything. Yeah. So I'll be on the Enchantment of the Seas, which is okay. the Royal Caribbean. Where exactly are you going? It's a four night cruise. It goes to Coco Cay, their um, private island, as well as Nassau. Awesome. Yeah. I need to get on a cruise. You really soon. do. You really do. I need to. All right. <laughs> well, until then, be sure to visit your local attractions, try something new like a cruise, and stay safe. But most of all, have, have fun. fun. Headsets for the show banks. We've got Elsa, Anna. I think they're better than your Thor ones. <laughs> so giveaway time, banks. Last, yes. yeah, last week we had a. Sorry. <laughs> you weren't expecting me to respond. I wasn't. Were you? So giveaway time, banks. Nope. <laughs> sorry, I had to. <laughs> you know what time it is, banks? Hammer time. That too. You know what time it is, banks? Summertime. It's our vacation.